Hey guys, um, I'm back with the video I promised you, and I'm sorry for the shaky camera. I, I um, just decided just to hold my phone and just make this video just like I did the last one. Um, I'm having a hard day, um, just with like the whole transition for everything, so I figured a good idea would be to make like a pretty raw video about you know just my emotions or whatever not just to reveal too much but just to kind of let you guys know what's going on I'm still sick like my nose is completely stopped up like I'm I'm just getting off work um so basically we'll just go ahead and get right to it the reason why I haven't been making videos is because um <laughs> My husband, as you guys know, that I've talked about before, who's been in my videos previously, um, him and I are currently separated with the intentions of getting a divorce. Um, if you look back on some of my videos, if you're smart enough, um, not saying that you guys aren't smart, you know what I'm trying to say, but if you're... You know, if you can read between the lines, you probably, like, basically saw that and what I was trying to say. We're having a really hard time, you know, just issues that, um, were existing, that were never handled, that basically, um, escalated to stuff that, you know, got the best of us that we couldn't really deal with anymore. Um, a lot of it my fault, a lot of his fault, you know, equal parts and roles and, you know, whatever was played. Um, right now, currently, it's not working out. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's just how it is right now. Um, me personally, the reason why you see a different background is because I live in my own place now. Um, and my daughter lives here. I mean, of course, she, you know, it's kind of like a back and forth thing right now as far as, you know, who she spends time with or whatnot. It's like equal custody, so it's not anything crazy like that. Um, and my nose is so stopped up right now, guys. Like, I promise you I haven't been crying or anything. I know I sound terrible. Like I said before in the video, I was sick. Um, a lot of you know this. I mean, a lot of you close family members already know this. So this is not any new news to you because it's actually been a while since it happened. Um, a lot of you are friends that don't know this. A lot of family don't know this. So... You know, this is how it is right now. Um, it's been a pretty life-changing experience for someone who is so used to, I guess, having somebody, like, right by their side. I mean, we were together for, like, a very long time. Like, super long time. <laughs> Longer than marriages have lasted. Um... So, it's really difficult to go from that to, like, nothing as far as relationship-wise. Um, financially, emotionally, you know, physically, um, when you're going through a breakup, you tend to gain weight or, you know, whatever physical changes, um, stress, I mean, it's... I'm basically a single mom now, so it's like it's really hard um, to manage, but I'm doing it because, and, and the reason why I'm making this video too also is just to say, you know, if I can help somebody out there or someone that can relate that's going through the same exact thing as me, um, then it's all a good thing, you know, because I've watched videos on YouTube of you know couples breaking up you know women that are now single moms talking about their experience and I didn't think that this is where my life would be at 37 you know 
I really didn't have any plans for like where my life would be at 37. But I mean, this is kind of just where it is right now. Um, and I know because I have a strong faith in God that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I can't change it. I can't do anything about it. And it's just been rough. So, you know, just to say that that's where it is. Um, I'm going to, you know, get back to making like regular videos and, you know, and don't mis you know, mistake how I am right now. I'm not unhappy or anything like that. I'm literally like clogged up. But I mean, it's been a life changing experience, but it's also been a good one because it's learning, helping me to learn to, you know, depend on myself and not necessarily um, rely on a person, you know, and it's teaching me life lessons. So it's been really, really good for me, you know, really great for me so far as far as learning things. You know, it's been a lot of sadness. There's also been some happiness as far as learning experiences. And, you know, I've grown closer to God as well as, you know, grown closer to my daughter and this experience. When I was very, you know, worried that she wouldn't be able to handle this very well, but she's been handling it, you know, really well. I mean, she's only three, but, you know... And I know those questions are going to come later, and I'll be prepared to, like, answer in detail, you know, for whatever I have to answer. But, um, just know, like, women who are out there right now that might be going through the same experience, um, I'm still in the midst of it, so I'm still learning new things every day. Um, but it'll get better. It does. You feel like you're crashing down at the beginning, but then, you know, as the time goes on, you know, you eventually learn that, you know, things happen for a reason. And I keep saying that because they really do. Things happen for a reason. Um, life is never going to go as how we planned it. And um, just hang on, you know, keep in there. And if you are a Christian like I am, or if you're someone who, you know, believes in God, then, you know, put everything in God's hands because that's the only way that it's going to get better. So, just saying that, and this video is already eight minutes long, which is not bad compared to certain videos, but just saying that, you know, like, um, it gets better. It does. And you feel like you go from zero to, well, from 100 to zero as far as having people in your life. Which is fine because everyone that's meant to be there is going to be there. And everyone that God has planned for you to be there is going to be there too. So, uh, I know this is a sad video and I'm sorry, but it's really not that bad. Um... <laughs> I mean, it just kind of is what it is. And, you know, I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. And, you know, life just puts you in the position of where you are. You know, you either make the best of it or you learn from it. And I'm learning from it. And I'm learning to be a stronger person. And... You learn to rely on yourself and you build yourself up and you make your learning to be that person that God intended for you to be through struggles, through um, financial struggles, through um, emotional struggles, through um, the whole process. It seems like it's a terrible thing, but it ends up being a good thing. I mean, no, you don't have that person in your life anymore. 
But people only come into your life for seasons sometimes and they leave right back out. And those people that you think that are going to be in your life forever, sometimes they leave right back out too. So, but the cool thing about new experiences like this is that there's gonna, there's gonna be joy that's gonna come. Just like in like the old churches, they say joy is gonna come in the morning, you know, um, in the Bible or whatnot. I mean, it does. It is. And joy comes in the morning every single day that I open my eyes. And I look outside. And I see that the sky is blue. You know, like... You wake up every day. And it's a new day. And it's new experiences that you're going to learn from. New experiences for me to teach my child. You know, like... It's not going to always be as bad as you think it is. And it's always going to get better. So if you are going through the same thing, just hold on and it will get better. So um, I am going to go take some sinus medicine medication because I just got off work.